just got that crank out with Master Shuge and it's puzzled me that I don't know what's wrong with it but the engine came in C so he's gonna tell us what's wrong with it. Good crankshaft. Must be installed. It's not all the way through. Got it, got it, yes. I got it. Must be go bolt. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, I was at Euro headquarters a few days ago and I happened to show a uh, engine that been locked up and it was sitting on Shugay's uh, workbench and uh, you know by nature I just curious I said Shugay um, what's wrong with that engine um, he would said frozen okay and uh, I, I said uh, Baron bad Baron no hydrolock okay okay that's fine to be honest, I never um, encountered a hydro, hydrolock engine before. I mean, I've done plenty of engine rebuild, a dozen of them, but not the hydrolock. So this is my opp opportunity, right? I say, Shige, could I uh, dismantle that for you? Because I just want to see the goddamn crank. And he look at his watch. You got one hour. All right, I can do that. I can do that. I could have done it faster with my own tool. To be honest with you, Shuge tools are very modest. Now this is a good crank, okay? For reference, this is a good crank, brand new D10 crank. If you put it together, like so, the pin should slide too. See it? Pin should slide too. That's the sign of a healthy crank. Remember that. Look. This is why it's bad because the center. Because customer. Uh, See that? Center. Pet center. Pet Learn cook. something new. Open, gas go inside cylinder. Mm -hmm. Customer come to Monday to start. <laughs> Hydrolock. Hydrolock. Now the engine in uh, the video at. Uh, Euro headquarter is a 2007, okay? It's a 12 year old, so it's not a new engine. With a hydrolock crank, it will bind inside the motor and, and you, know, you cannot move. But when you take it out of the case, it will move freely. So that's what puzzled me, you know? I, I don't understand, you know? It, it's, it's nothing wrong with the thing. But when you hydrolock, you actually force this cheek out of alignment. And, it will, and you know, depending on where you're positioning it, it could force up or down, you know. So that what that is why it's out of timing. Once it's out of timing and it's in the case, it's not gonna move, it's just gonna lock. That is the nature of the three piece crank. Okay. Even though this crank is pressed under heavy low, see this pin here? You can still move it uh, when you have gas in the cylinder. So, what is the solution with that? I don't care if you have a vacuum packard or a manual packard. You have to kick the damn bike before you hit the electric button. Um, you know, if you have a carburetor euro. If if you don't listen, it's gonna cost you at least fifteen hundred bucks or more. Okay, recap. With a quick crank, you should able to slide the pin all the way through. And this cheek, and this cheek should line up center to center. So if you measure halfway there, halfway there, it should line up. Now, with a high lock crank, the cheek will upset either a couple of degrees on the left or a couple of degrees on the right. It wouldn't not lined up because it's been forced out of time 